Hey, this is Nikki Pip back at you. Um, uh, I guess we'll start a new series. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna call this Game Chosen, and um, I say that because I've definitely made a choice on this. Um, for our first let's play, um, we're gonna do Close Combat Three. I believe it's the Vox Online version. They have they have the Iron Cross version in the Vox Online. I think that it's the uh, second one, or Fox on Mine. So we're going to do that with the Ghost Storytelling Division. And I, I say that because uh, Lord Cucumber uh, messaged me last night, and he said that that's what he would do, and he wants to see it. So now I'm going to do it. Um, I've got Lord Lord uh, Cucumber 77. His information is down below, but you can just do a church for Lord Cucumber 77, and it, they'll come up with him. Uh, but I'm going to put it down below for, for easy access. Um, I may do two at a time. I traditionally do two at a time. And I, what I do is I tape sev several of them playing one game. So it's like continuity. And then the same day I'll go and do the next one. Whatever I'm doing and do several of them. And then I would pace out the... Um, posting them online so sometimes in some of my old less plays um, and you know, from about four years ago um, a little less maybe two but I have five ideas about four years ago is how long it's been it was during the first renaissance of close combat um, it takes it, it, what you do is you make the video including that including um, you might say make this important. You download and you take all off the camera and you download all the files that you want and whatever. Like I had a um, uh, some music. I used to have a trumpet and um, a and then I would also make um, I had I had a splash page that was an intro and then I had a thumbnail um, a modded thumbnail. Um, so that that's what I'll do in these. Um, so what you do is you put them all off where you want them, including all your game files. And, and if you have any, for mine, it would have been pictures and pictures, but I haven't done any of those yet. Um, and then you render them. And what rendering means is it takes all of these desperate pieces and adds them into a logical order. And you can do transitions, like if fading out ones and things that flip to the screen and so on and so forth. It's for the ease of the person watching, that you can kind of follow along where it's going. Well, to do those, you need to render those. So what that means is you you load them into some film editor where it says like, do this, put a picture here, and then do add the audio here. And that's why I do these. I do a countdown um, to these things, and um, and then uh, you render it. Render actually makes it, so it takes all of those different files and adds them together in, in whatever order that you want them to go. It makes a single individual video file of them. Then you have to go and you have to upload the um, to YouTube, and YouTube takes forever to upload stuff. And uh, like for me now, on like. I will download this on Friday. I'm taping this on Friday. I'll download it on Friday. I'll go and, and um, attempt to, to start or begin to upload to YouTube. And like literally, like, like, a, like a 10 minute video will take like four hours or eight hours to upload. And then rendering takes an awful long time too. So that's probably another two hours. So you're looking at six hours um, plus time that it takes to make this and then to do whatever until you start it so it looks like I need to commit about 18 hours to making these overall per video and that, that my recollection is that's about right from the last time I did it um, and I had oodles of videos like 200 or so you can see in my if you look on on my channel as opposed to the individual um, mods it, or the, the it, you have to look on on my on my page um, as opposed to just going to one of my videos to see this 
but it'll tell you how many different videos I've uploaded and, and the different um, playbacks I put them in and um, so on and so forth. Anyways, it's a, you have to count on, it's, it's about a full day or afternoon, an afternoon and evening of, of topping it up. Matter of fact, that's if it works. I had one that didn't, that didn't work and my, my last one was chopped off at the end. And um, the one before that, I couldn't download it, or I downloaded it, and then I, I couldn't I couldn't find it. So that's screwing. Um, <coughs> so onward and upward. Um, there's two pieces of news today. One is that the close combat games, the games themselves, are now uh, freely uploadable from closecombat.org. I'm going to have their information down below. They're the one I was talking about yesterday, the place to find mine. So, if anybody wants to follow me, um, I kind of do my installs differently. I, I do uh, logically, and I change the um, location of them. I have an archive drive at home. The one that I said was like um, one terabyte, it's two terabytes. Um, so, and that's that show so large, it would be foolish for me not to. I'm, I'm going to download tonight all the mods and have those in a logical place. So I'll be another source of getting these from um, other than Close Combat Org. And um, certainly a person should get all of the original games. So, because these are a classic game. And so they're kind of going through a renaissance again. And um, our second renaissance on these games. Uh, we had one when they originally came out, which was back in the 80s and 90s. And then, and then, um, and they're, they're classic games. And then, um, two from when they started putting out things like um, uh, Southern Games does this. Um, you can get it on, um, Ma I think I think that's Matrix. I don't Matrix.com. I think Ma Matrix is that's it. That's the company that's selling, them, or sold them originally. I don't I don't know that they're selling them anymore. Um, Close combat underwent a renaissance when Slithering took it on, because Slithering also at, le at least two new games for close combat, and and quite improved, I would say, um, Panthers in the Fog and Gateway to Con. And I, I'm hoping they, they did the Blade first, because I'd like to do that, and because um, I'm I'm a competent YouTuber, and I'm a competent game player, so I I know a lot of the ins and outs and how to. Uh, do, I'm, I'm, I plan on doing a set of let's play along and I'll, I'll kind of like an extended tutorial and I'll go through a little bit more of this stuff of specifically how to and I'll do screenshots and so on and so forth. There's a reason I can only upload one, one video get one video a day that it takes so long to do them. Um, that'd be like another 18 hours. So uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do those. I, I think that I think we benefit from that. If anybody knows if the copyright has been released on this, um, the DMCA thing is kind of a scare to everybody now, at least that do YouTube also. Um, so if, if you know for sure, um, if you can let me know and we will, I'll, we'll, I'll broadcast and sp spread the news. Um, so so this is a big piece of news, big piece of news, at least I just kind of figured it out today. Um, I saw it on my on my channel this morning. Um, it was at closecombat.org. Um, anyway, and once again, Alex Bowers in the news. Um, and the piece of news is is that apparently she's representing herself. Not very smart. Um, but I'm gonna, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be following this. Um, I don't have pity on her at all, and I'd use the cuss word, but um, I, I don't like that, so I'm, I won't. Um, I do, I do kind of dial down my personal stuff when it comes to my games. I, I'll cuss a couple times, but it's really just in passing. Um, I was a police officer for a long period of time, so I was quite comfortable with it, and you had to. So. Um, Anyway, I don't have pity for her. None. So, 
um, or sympathy. I, uh, I know her game, so I don't, I don't, you know, I'm not doing all this. Um, so some, some YouTuber, news YouTubers people, um, have decided to not, um, respond to her. So, um, I guess it's because they're, they're, they're tired with their tricks. But I know what she's up to. I know her game. So, because I was transgender also. I know that's the, I know the path she's taken. Um, so, I, I know this quote unquote plead for um, sympathy that she's having that was her suicide threat and everything. Um, but I know what that means, and that's. I'm not concerned. Um, so, anyway, I'm going to continue to follow this and give you maybe a little bit of an insight, um, extra motivation for it, um, if it ever comes up, so, may or may not, but anyway, if I had to guess, you know, place a gag order on her, on her pretty soon, so, um, anyways, now, um, Sid Alpha and, um, um, I'm trying to think of this guy's name. It isn't, I, I, I went off script. So, I went off script at one point. So, I'm not kind of in. Jim Sterling. Jim Sterling is reporting on her also, still. So, if I had to guess, Sid Alpha is not going to report about her pretty soon. But, at least as of right now. And, and, um, Alex Mauer apparently emailed Sid. So, Sid follows up on these things. I've always kind of considered that he was, um, on like the second hand re reporting that you get rather than the first hand historically that's that's the way he's been but now if you want to go to the source he's the main source and now Jim Sterling who she apparently or he apparently has um sit out um has great respect for it. I have great respect for it also um is still a point of honor or he's sending the emails that he received, um, he's sending a, a CC copy to her, or to, um, to Jim Sterling, so anyways, it's a, it's weird, um, but anyways, um, going back on the again, um, so she's representing herself, I'm done having pity with her, um, I know the game that she's doing, um, some people are not going to report on her anymore, and, ah, I will. I'm going to continue to. I probably is, it's going to drop down of importance. It's already on the second part of the news, but I have a vested interest in this for two points. Um, so anyway, I'm going to continue to report on her. So if you need anything, come here because I, I I'll, I'll have it. And if, if, to be honest with you, it's good to be back in the game. And in the game, quite literally for me. Um, doing close combat three, so that's a happy day. Y'all have a good day now. I'll see you.